Today we're here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we have an adventure for you all today in search of dolphins, and then we're gonna explore Myrtle Beach. You guys ready? Ready. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do this. We didn't really have a sunrise this morning. Kind of a cloudy, rainy day. Definitely beautiful though. There are a few folks out on the beach today, this morning. Uh, there's that wicked tuna. And the hotel has been very good. Of course, it is beachfront property with that amazing view. So today we're going to be heading on an adventure. Of course, we're always on a, an adventure. And um, we are going to take one of them high-speed boats in search of dolphins. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you'll know we do that quite often on this channel. So... Let's go ahead and let's get this on the road. And this is the city view from our room. Not too bad. Even this view is quite nice. And it is sprinkling at the moment. So we gotta head to the North Carolina, South Carolina border. I think it's called Little River, which is about a 35 minute drive from here. We're over here at Little River and it's right on the border of North Carolina in South Carolina, you can see the moss hanging from the trees. It's got that that Savannah, Charleston look. It's hard to tell you two sisters apart when you have your sunglasses on and like the same style going on. I was like, I, I keep going, Dawn, I go, oh, nope, that's Denise. <laughs> so it's a really gloomy day. It's a little muggy and it feels like it's gonna rain on us. We're hoping it don't rain on our little excursion today. You know, hopefully we'll see some dolphins, but there's no guarantees, never guarantees. So we're going to be doing the Sea Racer Dolphin Tours today. Wow, that boat looks fast, doesn't it? And everybody aboard looks like they're having a great time. Somebody didn't like their shoes and tossed them up there. Yeah, the folks in there were really nice. They gave us our, our boarding passes and we're good to go. And this place is called Daddy O's, the son of KWC. Hmm. Yeah, a little, looks like a little, little bar going on there. Some live music, maybe. They have a casino here, so it's a boat. And when they get so far out into the Atlantic, they turn on all their machines. So I'm assuming gambling is not allowed in North Carolina or South Carolina, or at least maybe not Native American gambling. But anyways, they do have one. And it sounds like it would be fun because you're on the boat, you know, and then there's like, you know, I don't know, kind of cool. But if you're in the area and you want to get your game on, I guess that's the way to do it. And that sign there says, beware of pirates. And I guess pirates do live in houses when they're, and it does look like a pirate's house for sure. Pirate's treasure house. Oh, a little gift store. It's closed at the moment. I definitely like the flair of the area here. Pirates Treasure House, Little River, a, looks like a totem pole just over that way. I yeah, like the vibe. So I remember all this. The last time we were here, we did the Sea Screamer and we got about halfway out there and the water was just so rocky. The captain said, guys, we got to turn around and go back. So we kind of, eh, it was, I don't know, it was kind of, it was okay, right? But we didn't get the full tour. No. So hopefully today the seas are, are good and this rain holds off. But today we're doing the Sea Racer, the competitor across the street, right? Figure we'll change it up a little bit. Um, seeing that we already know what the Sea Screamer is all about. Crazy woodpecker up there.
think he's looking for something good to eat. And then there's a squirrel right there on that branch. I think he's eating a nut. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Well, there he is. Yeah, I think he's got a he's got something good to eat. Well, hello, Mr. Squirrel. Or Mrs. Squirrel. It could be Mrs. Squirrel. Who remembers Bazooka Joe? <laughs> yeah, I remember this from last time. A fun little area. I love the vibe. You got like this, I call it the pirate bar. R. <laughs> I have happy hour from 4 to 7. And I remember last time this place was pretty hopping. And over here you have Hurricane Jewels. A little eatery. It smells really good. Kind of hungry too. I haven't eaten today. Yeah, so that cool little bar is called the Pilot House. It was established in 2008. So that's the that's the casino ship there. Oh, a little captain's wheel. Oh wow, I love the openness of it. How yeah, those lights are are pretty cool, and we're sitting right by the water here, waiting for our our boat to to arrive, right? I think I'm gonna get the Paul's Pimento Cheese Burger. Sounds good. It's Prime Angus Burger topped with candied bacon, house-made pimento cheese, crispy lettuce, and fried green tomato. That definitely sounds the southern way to go, right? So here are their hush puppies they brought out. So it looks like a maple butter, and uh, it's really, really good. Yeah. So this is my Paul's Pimento Cheeseburger and Fries. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. A little, little piece of lettuce, just one little piece of lettuce there. Uh, pimento cheese looks good though. Yeah, and then those are your, your chicken tenders there. Yeah, got a little bit of a salad or something going on in the center there. And Dawn's, um, salad. just your salad, it's right? House salad. House salad. And that's the side view of that burger there. Yeah, not too bad. And as we were eating, our boat has arrived. It's, yeah, it's right there, the big green one. And that's what Captain Jules looked like back in 1948. And that was where we just had lunch. Yeah, it was a pretty good lunch. Oh, wow, it, it looks fast. <laughs>
Jellyfish, right? No, <laughs> Denise moved over here to get a better view of what's going on. There he is. Right there. Today, these are bottlenose dolphins. They are native to the Carolina coast and live here their entire lives. They travel in what they call pods. It could be anywhere between five to 25 dolphins. And they've also been known uh, to travel around the world in uh, pods of 4,000 plus. Male dolphins uh, think of him. Sometimes they'll kick older male dolphins, the baby male dolphins out of the pod and make them go find their own home in their own pod. We've them for a while, which I guess is uh, like fish and stuff that they've caught in their nets that they that's not what they're fishing for, so they'll throw it back in the water. Right there. See that, Karen? I've got a picture of it. <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at it. There's a whole bunch of them right there, Karen. Sometimes these dolphins, as a fisherman, are bringing their shrimp nets up on the boat. See? Before they get them all the way up there, these dolphins will go in the fish net, grab a bite to eat real quick, and hurry up and get out before the fishermen even get the nets completely out of the water. And, uh, and all of a sudden, they'll disappear and you will see them. All right, would anybody like to swim with these dolphins? Let's do it. All right, let's swim with them. Go down in Florida. Yeah. yeah. And you just float there, and just tap your hand on the water, and this dolphin comes right up alongside you. He grabs his dorsal fin and he takes off doing 20, 25 mile an hour. And you're like on a jet ski, it's pretty amazing. Wow. That's interesting. So they're just cruising down here tonight. When they find the main ball, it's pretty amazing. They'll go in there. And they'll actually grab a decent sized Spanish mackerel. And they'll actually flip it up in the air and stun it. And then they'll come back and they'll eat it. So their main diet is shrimp and fish. And not only do you get nourishment from the fish that they eat, dolphin also needs a little bit of fresh water to survive. When they eat the fish, they actually get some fresh water out of the fish that they consume. So the average uh, life expectancy of a dolphin is about 25 to 30 years now. Although there is one in captivity in a Tampa Aquarium that is actually 65 years of age. How cool is this, guys? Yeah. I sure hope everybody got a lot of good pictures and videos and it's just a cool experience coming out here seeing these dolphins like that. Another dolphin cruise. Denise, that was your first one. What did you think? I had, I had a great time. It was really fun. You got to see your dolphins. And I got to see my dolphins. So. Dolphins for the first time, huh? Mm -hmm. Now we're here at Barefoot Landing. We're gonna do a little shop and walk around, see what's, what's new since the last time we were here. It's been a while since we've been here. 
We went to the Lulu's in Destin and they have one here in Myrtle Beach. Really good food, but we ate earlier. Please enjoy our 200 year old live oak, but don't climb on it. Wow, it is, it is magnificent. And they got a nice little area here for the kids to play underneath it. Oh, a little photo opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it's only a half of one. The crooked hammock looks like a fun place to eat. Oh wow, there's a bunch of them. You know, I do see them. Yeah, there's all kinds of turtles down in there. Or a little baby one. You see them? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see them shiny. Yeah. That one there is covered in moss. Guess it makes good camouflage, right? Kind of, kind of mossy. He's gonna get that the dragonfly. Look at it. He's gonna get that dragonfly. Oh no, he flew off. You notice something? The sun's out. Yeah. Yes. It was doing gloom earlier. Yeah, it was like raining and stuff. And now, the sun is out. we might have to go back and. Go to the beach. Yeah. Could be good, you know, just yeah. swimming. And wherever you go, there's a pepper palace. And did you know that they started in in Sevierville? Oh, yeah. And we got a Krabby Jack's general store. Old Krabby Jack's. We got some uh, Myrtle Beach saltwater taffy. Oh. And Krabby Jack's is a really cool store to shop at. It's got a lot of nifty things. They got one here and they also got one over at Broadway at the beach. We usually stop. Dawn likes to shop, don't you? Yeah. Find anything good? It smells pretty good. Ocean Tide. Oh, wow. No, I'm okay. <laughs> So we're going to cross this great big, I think this bridge, yeah, this bridge is floating. Great big floating bridge. It's pretty much like Gallenberg and Pitch and Forge on the beach. They even have a birds. Barefoot landing. I highly recommend do not come barefoot though, right? Yeah, the don't, game is too hot for that. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely worth a stop. We did a little shopping, looked around. I think we're going to head back to the hotel, right? Yeah. And then um, we're going to see, because now the sun's out, we should go enjoy the beach a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little beach. swimming. It's amazing what a few hours can do and a little sunshine. Everything's all warmed up. The sun is out. And people are out in droves doing a little swimming all the way down the strand. Gonna do it for today here in Myrtle Beach. You guys had a blast. Denise saw dolphins, got that great boat ride, and did some swimming down there. And we did some swimming in that pool there. But that's gonna do it. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs>